It was shortly after Christmas and I was sick in bed. She was having a seizure and she wasn't responding. I really had no idea what was going on. They picked her up, arms and legs, and carried her out into the ambulance. Having doctors and nurses surrounding you, it was very scary. I didn't realize at the time how sick she was. I'm Lacey. When I was 16, I contracted meningitis and septicemia. And this is my story. She had the flu leading up to Christmas, and it was a cold that she couldn't seem to shake. I just started getting this really bad headache. It was the worst migraine I've ever had in my life. The light was hurting her eyes. Even in a dark room, the light was hurting her eyes. The next day, I think it was a Saturday, January 7th, 2007, I got out to um, take down the Christmas tree. And I was taking the beads off the tree, and I heard her call Mom. And when I went in, um, she was having a seizure, so I turned to my husband and I said, you know, I think we need to call an ambulance, and we did. The paramedics asked how long she had a, a rash on her chest, and I didn't know she had a rash on her chest, and um, so it was very quick. And uh, they actually didn't go get the stretcher, they picked her up, arms and legs, and carried her out into the ambulance. And when the paramedic called in to the Janeway to get her stats, he was writing it on his gloved hand, and I remember um, the triage nurse came back and said, um, can you repeat that a few times? And then said to bypass, emerge, and go right through to trauma. But um, Lacey wasn't responding appropriately. They were calling out to her, and, and I think there was one doctor, and he would yell, literally yell at her, and she would stir, but other than that, she wasn't responding. And um, that's when they told me that they suspected that she had meningitis. They wanted to treat her hard and fast with medication, and it was this massive needle, and one would hold it, and the other would push the fluids in. So she had needles, you know, all up her arms and in her groin, so they could, you know, pump it in quicker, and she blew up with all this fluid, and, and it, was, it was very scary. But they told me she responded better than they had hoped, and the doctor said that at this point, all indications were that she would survive. I think she was three to five days in a coma. I remember waking up in the hospital and first thing I saw was the light above the bed and I just remember looking at it and thinking, what did my parents do to my room? <laughs> I didn't know where I was, I didn't know what happened. I remember the nurse saying to me, well, you had meningitis. And I believe what I said to the nurse back then was, don't people die from that? And she said, well, you're very lucky. I don't remember any of this, but apparently my mom was saying to me the whole time, this is the time now to ask for your dogs because your dad is not going to say no. And apparently the first thing I said when I woke up was, can I have my dogs now? <laughs> and my dad immediately found them and got them. <laughs> the dogs' names are Prince and Prada, so I got them about 12 years ago now and they have been with me ever since this happened. There's definitely some serious side effects that can happen. You can have permanent scarring, you can have amputations, there's a chance that you could lose your hearing. It could have caused some cognitive impairments, but I'm definitely very lucky. I had no side effects, no scarring, no amputations, um, no hearing loss. I don't know where I found the strength, but I fell apart after, <laughs> so it's hard. To be completely honest, I think it was a lot more traumatic for everyone surrounding me. My parents, my friends, my boyfriend, because I didn't get to see myself hooked up to life support. I didn't get to see myself in a coma, but everyone that I love that surrounded me had to see all of that. She really couldn't lift her head. Like She couldn't sit up in bed. She was extremely weak. So I had to gain all my strength back, and that took a very long time. The Janeway, quite literally, they saved my life. I can't even begin to say enough good things. <laughs> After everything happened and I had recovered, they made me their champion child for 2008. And with that, I got to do so much with the Janeway. Um, they took me on a trip to Florida where I got to meet other champion childs from different hospitals in Canada. There were so many things I was able to go on and do thanks to the Janeway that without them I would have never been able to accomplish. 
I had finished high school, I went to university, I graduated with two degrees, and right now I work as a substitute teacher. I do French immersion and I absolutely love it. I always knew that I wanted to work with children and that I wanted to have a family of my own. Um, but I think going through everything that I went through, it definitely solidified that. My boyfriend was 17 years old at the time, and it was definitely a very traumatic experience for him as well. He was by my side the entire time that I was sick, and I really think the whole experience brought us that much closer together. We've been together going on, it'll be going on 13 years now, and we got married a few years ago. And now we have a little boy. Nixon is your typical rough little boy. He loves to play outside, he loves dogs, he loves going for walks. A new thing that people are doing now is like hiding painted rocks outside and he just gets so excited if he happens to find one. So that's something really fun for him. It has been so long since I was sick. It's 12 years ago now, actually. So looking back, it just reminds me of how grateful I am for the Janeway, how grateful I am for all the doctors and nurses that literally saved my life, um, and my parents. <laughs> the Janeway took a situation that was very scary and hard for a teenager to understand and almost brought some light from it by letting me spread the message about meningitis and what it is. I think more people need to be made aware because if somebody can recognize the symptoms, it's all about how quickly you can act. And it really is a race against time. And if it wasn't for how um, fast acting they were and how much care they took of me, um, I wouldn't be here today.